So if at the actual permanent um, restraining order hearing, the, the allegations are found to have been unjustified, um, will you immediately get your license and firearms back? Again, you'd have to reapply, as I have answered, to the Board of Firearms okay. Permit Examiners. And, that, and, and once that your permit is restored, then you would be able to, re to obtain possession of that firearm. Okay, so even if the, if the um, allegations are found to have been unjustified, um, you would still have to go through that process, which could take two years. Again, that was the time frame cited. I understand there was a backlog. I don't know the exact length of the backlog, but that Representative Sampson cited two years. There is a backlog. I don't know. Okay, so even under, so let, let's assume that that backlog is correct. Under this legislation, there would be no opportunity for a hearing. Somebody, uh, before the firearms are, are seized, and they might not be returned for perhaps two years. And you may not even have, you, know, you may not even, not only the firearms, but you may not even have your license returned to you for up to two years, so you couldn't purchase another firearm during that period. Is that right? You know, uh, Representative Dubitsky, um, uh, as you know, um, not every law, not every bill is perfect in the beginning. If you think that you wanted to change and the committee changes it uh, uh, regarding the period of time um, if they are found not to be um, the respondent is not to, uh, is found not guilty you all can fix the legislation okay. but then, and you and you, to, then you'd have to vote for it too uh, so. would you would you be uh, would you support such amendment uh, you know what that's I, you know what I gave up that license to be able to support an amendment um, when I Left, left being state representative. So um, that's a decision that all of you make. Um, but you do understand the, I the do problem. I do understand what you're saying. I do. Okay. And, and you understand that, that um, doing that without any hearing um, would be an extreme violation of somebody's due process rights. I, 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 I disagree. I think there is, I think the due process is in the bill right now. When you're talking about um, if they're found I don't know if I, you know, because I'm not a lawyer, but if they're found not guilty after that due process, the second part of the due process, then you can change, you know, the law and understand where you're coming from. But during the time of uh, when there is an alleged fear or, or fear from these other people, from uh, the respondent, I, I still feel that the, the, the uh, pistol should be taken away or okay. gun. E even though there's no due process. There is a due process, sir. Not it's before the firearms are taken, though. You, it is due process because you're still going in front. The aparte is the same part. It's always been that is due process. The, okay, but due, due process is an opportunity to be heard. And before your rights are, are taken away from you, you have no opportunity to be heard. Now, 14 days later, you may have an opportunity to be heard, but... You, you just told me that even if after that opportunity to be heard, you're found not to have done anything wrong, your rights are still, have still been stripped from you, not only for that 14-day period, but also for an additional perhaps two years. Do you believe that's I due believe, process? I believe the due process is there for yes. the 14 days, absolutely. Um, and the due, it, is there. the due process is there. It's just like taking away, you can't go to your home um, because your wife might be there. That's, that's part of the due process that, that is uh, taken under the part, parte, what is it called? Ex parte. Ex, ex parte, I know, I'll never get that right. Okay. 